Yo, what's going on YouTube? Just Jake here and welcome back to my channel for another GTA 5 video. And in today's video, we're going to be exploring the brand new upgrades we've got for the Dominator. I believe we can make this motherfucker look like the Death Race Mustang. So that's what exactly what we're going to do so if you want to purchase your dominator for 35k you can or you can do a trade mission and get it for the trade price for us twenty six thousand dollars it's up to you whatever way you want to play it um but because it's only around about nine grand more expensive you might as well just buy it now it's not that much difference yeah so like i said hopefully we can turn this into the death race mustang so i think we're going to go for like uh the apocalyptic upgrade for this but anyway let's get it purchased get it into the workshop and we'll see what we're doing so here we go guys, now we're inside the workshop, you can see we've got a brand new shiny Dominator and we're going to do the Arena War update and we've got the Apocalypse, the Future Shark and the Nightmare, I don't really understand that Nightmare, it is weird, I really hate them so we're going to always stay away from them uh, the Future Shark actually looks pretty smart, you know, it's alright, it don't look too bad but like I said, we're going to try and turn this into the Death Race Mustang so we need the Apocalypse, so that's going to cost you 1.1 million dollars let's get it purchased and then see how it transforms that just looks so mean so mean so you can see we've got this back plate at the moment as standard that actually really looks like uh the the death race mustang anyway because it definitely has one of them at the back so we're, we're halfway there we're halfway there hopefully we can get a mounted minigun on the hood of the car so we'll, we'll find out anyway we'll find out we'll go start with the brakes race brakes to start we've got the boost obviously we're going to be purchasing oh man shunt boost yeah man let's, let's, let's do it we're doing it front bumpers we've got a custom front bumper what the fuck what the fuck oh right, so it's, it's just changing the split with the front I don't think we need it I really don't think we need it so we're going to skip past that we're going to go to the bodywork and then, ooh, this is uh, probably something we don't need. Unless we get a roof scoop. A roof scoop would be cool. Oh, shit, man. We've got fucking axes on the front. Yeah, I definitely don't think we need any of these if we are going to stay true to the Death Race Mustang. So we're going to stay away from them. We've got the spikes, body spikes. Uh, again, we don't need them. I don't think it adds anything to the to the car either you know in the way of offense or defense so body oh here we go this is where we could get what we need and that is what we need the heavy armor and that absolutely transforms it that looks awesome so you want the heavy armor definitely for this build then we're gonna go to the engine we're gonna get a level four upgrade then we've got the exhausts um not really sure what exhaust we'd want i mean you can't even see them Oh yeah, here we go. Unless you're going to have them out the out the front like that, but we don't need that. Don't need that either. They are pretty cool, but they're not the ones we need. Neither are they. So we're just going to stay stock, I, I suppose. You know, there's no reason in buying any of these because it's not what we need. So um, yeah, stay stock for the exhaust. Next, we've got the grill. Um, not really sure what we can do with this. The headlights are blocked out on the Death Race Mustang. So if we can do that, that that would be great. But we can't. Hmm, okay. And because we can't do that, maybe we'll just go with the defense grill. I think that probably looks the best. Yeah, because like I said, the two main headlights are completely blocked out um, on the Death Race Mustang. So yeah we'll go defense grill I think that probably looks the best because then obviously it's covering the majority of them uh, next we're going to go to the hood so we do need a scoop uh, not one with a skull oh man and we ain't got one what the fuck that sucks man we need that scoop as well if we could have that scoop without that skull it would be perfect but it looks like we're going to have to have the skull man oh well so we are going to purchase the skull hood so next we're going to go to the lights and we've got headlights and mm, I don't even know what lights we want to buy we'll just go Xeon lights for this next we've got the livery hopefully we can get a stripe but I don't think we're gonna don't think we're gonna oh man that sucks as well we might as well just stay painted rust 
So we can change the name of this vehicle, which we are going to do. Uh, we might as well just call it Death Race. So next we've got the respray. We're going to go primary color. Obviously we're going to stay matte with this because you don't want a gloss color on on here with like the rust paint. Uh, look a little bit weird. And we are going to go with matte. Um, light gray actually looks quite good. I think light gray is the one. Yeah, man, we're going to go matte light gray for the primary. And for the secondary, we are going to go with matte light gray. Then we get an option for side skirts. And we, yeah, yeah, why the hell not? We are going to purchase the custom skirts. Then we've got the spoiler. Um, don't think we need a spoiler. Hang on. Where's my big bloody plate gone from the back? There it is. So no, we definitely don't need a spoiler because it looks like if we purchase a spoiler, then it's going to remove um, the plate on the back. Let's just purchase the arm and spoiler and see what happens. Oh no, we still get the plate on the back, so that's cool. So um, on spoilers, you do want to purchase the arm and spoiler um, because we do get to keep the plate, uh, the armor plate on the back. So that's sweet. So yeah. For spoiler, armoured spoiler, then we've got suspension, we're going to go race suspension, transmission, we're going to get a super transmission, turbo, we're going to get the turbo tuning, hang on, S transmission with a super transmission, I don't think any other Dominator has got a super transmission, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I'm pretty sure no other Dominator in the game has got a super transmission, so this is, might be a game changer. Um, in regards to the Dominator scene, <laughs> if there is a Dominator scene that is. Uh, turbo, did we purchase that? We did. Turbo tune and vertical jump. We are going to get a vertical jump because we're going to go all in on this bitch. Then we've got the wheels, wheel type. And I'm thinking, oh crap, man, you get the Benny's wheels in this. Shit. That's awesome. Not that we're going to purchase any Benny's wheels for, <laughs> for this, whatever this is. Because Benny's wheels are far too nice for this Mustang. So, probably muscle. No, actually, it won't be muscle, will it? It might be tuna. Cr uh, and then we go stock. And they're going to be something similar to these. So, these ones are very close to what we need. Um, so, I'm going to purchase them for now and quickly change the color to. Uh, we're going to go carbon black, I think. No, we're going to go black steel. Uh, there's nothing better to what we have already. It is a little bit of a shame because I don't like that chrome lip around the outside of the rim either. It kind of looks too clean. What about off-road? Let's have a quick look in there. Maybe we can get something a little bit nicer in off-road. See, they're not too bad. The Raiders. Not exactly what we need, but they look a little bit more rugged than the other ones we had. Same for the Doom Basher. Yeah, I feel like we're going to go for the Raiders. Um, I know they don't look identical to what we need. These El Quattro's do look more like the ones from the film, but they look too clean. Like I said, I don't like that, that chrome rim. Not the chrome rim, the chrome lip around the outside of the rim. So I am going to go Raiders because they look more rugged and they suit the style of the car a little bit more. They don't look as clean, you know. So yeah, we're going to go uh, off-road Raiders for the wheels and we're going to go tyres and purchase the bulletproof tyres. Next we've got windows. We do get to change the window tint then. Pretty sweet. We're going to go light smoke. Usually that's where I end my car builds, but because this is a crazy ass motherfucking vehicle, we get weapons for the final choice. So we're going to go into here. We've got ram weapons. Oh my god. So, oh, so you can remove it. You can remove the shit. That's insane. That is <laughs> that is actually insane. I think I'm going to remove it, to be fair. I don't know, though. I might have a little scoop on it, because obviously that is truer to, obviously, the Death Race Mustang. Um, but I don't know if it's going to make the front of my car, you know, weaker. And the light scoop actually looks quite good, because it's quite stealthy, because it's... Not like it's like you got you know a bulldozer and scoop on the front of your <laughs> of your car, you know. It's uh, it's down there and it's you know like I say a little bit stealthier. So I think I'm gonna stay light scoop. We've got primary weapons and we can mount. 
the guns on the hood, but they're either side. What's the proxy? Mi and we got the proxy mines as well, which you can drop out. So it can drop. Oh shit! It can drop out different types of um, proxy mines. That's pretty cool. Oh, uh, we'll just go sticky because it was for free, and I don't really know what it does. Um, but the primary weapons, we didn't purchase any of them. We are going to go with. Um, we don't want clean ones, do we? We want the rusted ones. Stays with the feel of the car. So we're going to go mounted 50 cal, rusted. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. Let's uh, get out of the arena and take this baby for a spin. So here we go, ladies and gents. As you can see, this is a crazy vehicle. Crazy vehicle. But we, do we have the boost? Can we boost? How do we boost? So we've got that to jump. Drop a tombstone. Ooh. Does it come back? So you can release that from your car for some reason. That's annoying. I wanted that back. Um, how did you drop the proxy? Oh, so you, you hold it to release, it, release your back plate. You just push it to drop a proxy. Oh my god. That just pushes shit out. Oh, look at that. Just forces stuff out of the way. That's pretty cool, man. And then we've got the jump. No, 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 no. Don't go over the edge. Oh, <laughs> god. And we've got the amount of machine guns. Um, you know, same as the bike. Same as what I was expecting. The machine guns when you go shoot in the direction that the car's pointing. Uh, there's no other control of them. But you know, you can't make it too OP, can they? Which is good in a way, I suppose. I just love this jump. That is, like, insane. That jump. Any. Ooh, did I, oh, I think I, someone just went over one of my mines. Oh, God. Anyway, guys, I think that's going to be the end of the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please hit that like button. If you haven't already, why not subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this. And until next time, guys, I'm out. Adios. Thank you.